Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Evil Genius. So last time we defeated the the dangerous Jet Chen in honorable one-on-one -on -one combat. And by honorable I of course mean Kung Fu Treachery. Um, <laughs> I watch too much Black Dynamite. Anyway, um, what we actually managed to do between then is I actually stole another artifact or a piece of loot. And it was this. The beautiful Babylonian face. And it actually put us up high enough to unlock the next level of henchmen. So at this level, at 225, uh, the henchmen that I actually unlock, it's, it's very special. Because normally, uh, up to this point, we've been unlocking, like, the B henchmen. Right? So we have, well, I say B henchmen, but I mean, the henchmen that aren't starting henchmen. So, you know, like Montezuma, the Matron. But Lord Kane, he's one of the starting henchmen. He's one of the, he's one of the starting lineup. So at 225, you actually unlock the ability to recruit one of the other two starting lineup henchmen. Uh, those being uh, Eli Barracuda in America. Uh, he's a notorious kingpin in New York in the underworld, blah, 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 blah. We don't really care about that because we want Jubei. Jubei is a badass. He's a samurai, a mercenary samurai. He's the master of the deadly art of swordplay. His hatred of authority is well known. Having been denied proper training because of his peasant background, he trained himself and went rogue. Our exploits have reached his ears, and he has expressed an interest in joining our evil dominion. So, like I said before, Jubei is a badass. Like all guys, he only takes, you know, 20 seconds, so we'll go ahead and get a guy out here. But that could take longer than 20 seconds. And we will go ahead and recruit him to our awesome, awesome cause. So I'll do that, and we'll be back once that pops and we can hear the message. Oh, also, I built a catwalk to nothing. So, there's that. Anyway, see you guys in a bit. Here we go. Konnichiwa. You're listening to the Nipponese National Wireless Service. We have just heard that Jubai, the rogue samurai, has left the country and may now be working for an evil organization. Jubai disgraced himself and his ancestors by massacring his dojo mentors and has been on the run ever since. You can't see it, but I, I got a big stupid grin on my face. So, here he is, Jubai. I think is how they said it. I've always called him Jubei. But... So, this is my man. He's got, I'm not sure if that is glasses or just hair in his face. It might be possibly hair. It's very... I don't even know. Anyway, so... Jubei's powers, like all of your henchmen, are gather minions. But he has two special ones, is Windwalk and Eviscerate. And as you can see, they kind of have low requirements because he is one of the starting minions, so they do expect you to get those relatively early. But, uh, so if we read these, Samurai Evisceration. Well, I, I should read his regular backstory first. So, Jubai was born into a life of servitude. Working at a prestigious Tokyo dojo, he longed to emulate the young scions who attended the school. He admired their graceful combat from afar as he swept the floors. Desperate to prove himself, Jubai began to train alone after he had finished his cleaning duties at the dojo. Oh, uh, I punctuation that wrong. <laughs> That's not even a verb. You can't punctuation something. Um, after he finished his cleaning duties at the dojo, Jubai's broom swept through an altogether more deadly dance. He quickly discovered that he was natural and was accepted in the dojo as a proper student. Everything went smoothly for Jubai for the first few years, until the time came for him to finish his novice training and progress to the more advanced levels. He was summoned before the do dojo council, and told that although he was skilled in combat, he did not have the inner harmony to continue at the dojo. Incensed by this scandalous slur on his character, Jubai had sheathed his katana and proceeded to strike down the entire council, thus proving their fucking point. Pausing only to reflect that they might have had a point, I just said that, Jubei fled to the dojo to seek his for Jubei fled the dojo to seek his fortune as a rogue ronin. His powers are samurai evisceration. Jubai can channel the anger of his ancestors through his katana to deliver a critical strike attack that deals massive damage. Yes, it does. I think it's amazing. And Windwalk, the way of the samurai, are shrouded in mystery. Jubai can harness the power of the wind spirits to teleport himself. When you activate this ability, the cursor will turn into a target. Right-click where you want Jubai to teleport to. So yeah, um, these powers combined with our awesome sauce Lord Kane's power of uh, freezing agents, I mean Smooth Operator, are basically amazing. So we use Smooth Operator to freeze them in place, and then we teleport Jubai right on top of them to just whip the shit out of them, and it's amazing. Uh, so some other minor updates. Um, so what we're going to start doing at this point, uh, I should probably finish up the diplomat missions first. 
which we'll probably do that this episode. Actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and do the diplomatic missions, but we'll blow through those real quick. Or at least you guys will blow through them. Uh, I won't. I'll actually have to wait for them to finish. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Um, I guess the only thing that'll really take time is I have to read. Well, I don't have to read, but I like to read the fluff text. So, I guess we'll get started on that. Let's go ahead and do... Where is not mad at us? The Eastern Bloc is not mad at us. So, let's do this one first. So, we need a diplomat. Uh, we need some guys to protect him, and some scientists to lower the speed. But just to read the flavor text, <clears throat> at Hammer, the high-ranking government official gave us a series of access codes before he succumbed to the rigors of our interrogation. Send a diplomat to sweet-talk his way into the centralized Hammer Records Department in Yugoslavia, and use the access codes to tweak a few files and add a new position to the Hammer Council, a position which will, of course, have one of our own diplomats as its first incumbent. Hails to the Yale! Obviously these things have a shit ton of heat and some risk, but I mean, you know, blah 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 blah. Let's actually go ahead and send... a Kung Fu guy. So yeah, um, we will do that. And I'll be back once that one pops and move on to the next one. See you guys then. Um, I guess something else I should talk about is at the level we're at now, you notice that now there's actually an option to kidnap a, di a diplomat here in the Eastern Bloc. And you would think, oh, well, you know, that, I mean, they do that with all the guys. You know, they have, you know, a guard here that you could kidnap, and they have a guard here that you can... I think he's here. Yeah, you have a guard down here you can kidnap, and blah, 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 blah. The, the main distinction to be made is this is the first one, right? So he takes eight ballets, and just straight up takes five minutes and 20 seconds to do. Um... Oh wait, never mind, because this one... This one requires less valets, but you know, workers and spin doctors and things like that. And I was going to say it requires less time, but that's also because I have scientists here who's cutting it in half. So never mind. But supposedly these other ones that pop up at this level, because you get more options to, to recruit more people. You know, instead of just having the one in all the different places. It allows you to get more high level... It gives you more options to get high level guys. Supposedly easier high level options, but whatever. So anyway. We'll be back in a bit. Alright, here we go. Hail, comrades. This is a glorious day for communism. The Premier has announced the names of the new delegates who will be admitted to the Hammer Council immediately. Many revered Soviet figures have been honored with the role, but one unfamiliar figure initially caused some concern. We have performed a full background check with the Hammer Records Department in Yugoslavia, however, and are satisfied that this man is a true Soviet hero. Yeah, you hear that? We're a true Soviet hero. But anyway, on to North America. So, mm-hmm, <clears throat> some useful... I like how it says place bribe. Bribe. Some useful knowledge was gleaned from the interrogation of the high-ranking government official. The public approval rating of the Senator of Illinois has dropped like a stone since making a number of unpopular decisions. He knows he won't be in office for much longer, and is looking to make a quick buck by selling his power while he still has it. Send a diplomat to bribe him into gifting us a position on the Patriot Council. That is... kinda hilarious. I wonder when this... did this game come out when that happened? No. Alright, so, sorry about that, I had to stop recording for a tiny bit, but really mostly I was just kind of confused on this part, because something, if you if you follow the news and politics at all, a few years ago, something almost exactly similar to this happened, and she is loud, I'm going to pause it while I'm doing this, while I'm blabbering, something almost, re something really similar to this happened in Illinois a few years ago, um, shortly after, you know, President Barack Obama was elected, um, his old seat, like, someone in the Senate in Illinois was trying to sell his old seat, or was accused of trying to sell Barack Obama's old seat. It was really odd that, I don't know, that's just a weird coincidence, and I don't know, this game came out way before that happened, or maybe it didn't. I don't even know, but whatever, I don't feel like looking into it at all. So, yeah, um, I'm going to wait for this guy to get here. And then once he does, we're going to... Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut the recording, and once he gets here, we'll, you know, we'll come back. Same usual spill. The rest of this episode is really just going to be dedicated to fill in the last of these uh, diplomat seats. Um, Warning. Um, no. Right. It's there. I suppose I could have just checked my... This thing. We have three left. 
Anyway, I'll be back once we once we get to that. All right, here we go. KYC News. This is Atlantic 808's political roundup. Despite the damning allegations regarding his conduct, Senator McAndrews is continuing to protest his innocence. The senator of Illinois has been accused of accepting a bribe in return for elevating a complete unknown into a non-elected position on the Patriot Council. An independent investigation has been unable to find evidence of gross misconduct, but many still believe that this appointment is both undemocratic and potentially dangerous. All right, so that is three positions acquired. Two more to go. So we're gonna do. Um, Intruder alert! Security door bypassed. Yeah, no. Um, Saber and Smash. I can't even forget the names of these places. I'm retarded. Hard. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and do Saber next. So. Um, it says, now that the high-ranking government worker has been interrogated and disposed of, I don't know, I read that every time. It's basically the same thing. It's time to use the knowledge he provided to install a diplomat on the Sabre Council. The government worker mentioned a con contact of his who has the means to rig an electoral ballot in our favor. Seriously, lady? I'm trying to read. <laughs> Send a diplomat to talk with his contact, and we should be pulling strings on the Sabre Council in no time. All right, now you can continue your damn jibber-jabber, you pain in the ass. Um, so, we gotta be a little bit careful because we're kind of running out of high-ranking physicists and stuff. Um, what else we want with these guys? Alright, and then I'll be back once uh, that mission's almost done. So see you guys in a bit. Alright, mission's about to pop. Hello, friend. This is Abdul in Bangalore. I didn't want to be here today, but once elephant gets going, it is rather hard to stop. Bad elephant. Local news here is dominated by the recent regional elections that were won by rank outsiders, who only entered the race a week ago. If Paul players ruled out, the mysterious victor will be entitled to a seat on the stable ruling council. Yeah, so that's, that's that. Uh, let's read the last one. So, infiltrate the high-ranking government official. Blah, 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 blah. Same thing. Um, some valuable information regarding the leader of Uruguay and his weakness for poker. Send a diplomat to meet with him on some trivial pretext and then challenge him to a friendly game of poker once the business is out of the way. We'll cheat, of course, but he won't be able to stop until he owes us the equivalent of Uruguay's GDP. He'll then have no choice but to grant us a seat on the Smash Council in return for calling off the debt. So yeah, it's the last one. Um, just like the all the other ones, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video. When we come back... Um, we hear that end thing, and then I'll talk about the next stage of this dastardly plan that we have. So, yeah. Oh, um, I guess one other thing. I am expanding on the hotel. As you can see, I'm only building in a half of it, because we don't really need a whole lot to keep the tourists busy. Um, mostly, we're just building, like, stuff that we don't have to use, that we don't have to use, um, to actually keep them busy. Although I think I did put a few things in there that the valets can actually interact with, which I might have to get rid of, just to kind of help bide the time. Yeah, see, like these things right here, the, the the valets can actually interact with it, and as the tourists are sitting there, so I might have to get rid of these. We'll see what happens. But like dance floors and shit like that. Like this is where they the tourists are supposed to spend the day, and this is where they're supposed to spend like the night. They go up in the in the thing. Um, but really, like I said before, one hotel does not cut it. We're going to need a second one somewhere on the island, like maybe right here or somewhere. It's just so the to tourists can go back and forth between the two and be constantly distracted. But anyway, um, I'll be back once that next mission pops, and we'll hear what happens. See you guys then. All right, and last one. This is Lucia de Gama with all the news from Latin America. An interesting bit of political news here. The leader of Uruguay recently recruited a complete stranger to serve as his representative on the Smash Council. And some political rivals are claiming that this surprise appointment was the price for the Uruguayan leader losing a poker. Hmm. Do you think I could become the first lady if I beat him in snap? Ooh. Burn. Anyway. Um, that's the last of the diplomats, so we are done with that part of the mission, or objective. You see, we, have, we now have people in positions of power all over the world. This should give us a huge advantage in the times to come. 
And it certainly will. The next thing that we have to do is to go ahead and collect all of the things we need to create our rocket. And those are located at these five glowing dots. Now I did recently, I did earlier say that you don't need, you don't really need, you only really, you only really need to collect from one. It doesn't matter which one you get it from. You could get all 25 from one source. It's perfectly fine. Um, however, what I did not go into is the notoriety impact. Like there's, there's some hidden mechanics to the game in the notoriety that I will uh, go into. There's not enough time this episode. This, this is actually, this is actually the end of this episode. So uh, I will go into that in the very beginning of the next episode, but um, thank you very much for watching, and join me next time on Let's Play Evil Genius.